What's up, everybody? It's your boy Cuban Link, uh, CLK Entertainment in the building. Uh, I would just like to address Fat Joe and uh, Mr. Joseph Cartagena and uh, his respond or his statement uh, to the Big Pun Plaza uh, unveiling. And as far as, you know, Liza, Rios, which is Pun's wife, his kids, Vanessa, Amanda, and Chris, and myself, and everybody that was there, because it was a beautiful event at uh, Fordham and Grand Concourse. Uh, as y'all you know, if you don't know, Big Pun has gotten the actual certification of having his name on the street uh, sign. Big Pun's Plaza will, ever, will forever be there. And that's a great achievement. And it's something that is, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's, it's, it's praised uh, all around the Bronx. And it's a beautiful day. Uh, I wish it could have been more uh, publicized and, because it's a big, big, big thing. It's not just something that you can sweep under the rug, something that should definitely get national attention. Not just, you know, Bronx, not just, you know, uh, New York. It should have been, you know, all around the 50 states, according to, you know, what his stats was, uh, you know, touching everybody in America and past America, in the world, actually, who listened to his music. So he should have been... Uh, Something that should have been uh, pu publicized and spoke about more than what it has been talked about. And we still got time to do it. Uh, as far as him um, talking about um, he doesn't want, will ever stand next to us. Uh, when I say us, those are the names that I just dropped. Me, myself, and you know everybody that came from Pun. Um, uh, listen, uh, it, it, it's never been about that. You know what I'm saying? He says Pun was his twin. And he says prayers. He said his prayers to Pun. Pun has been gone for 20 years. So his prayers, you don't usually use the word prayer to people like that who's been gone already. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, his prayers to Pun. Like, you, you know, he's not here anymore, like, physically. So, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely watching from above and he's being represented from down here in Earth. So, uh, you know, um, another thing is that, um, you know, if you love Pun, like you say you love Pun, uh, usually love has a trail of uh, actual um, physical attributes or things that uh, that you have done for him, right? So if you love Pun, what you have done for him, I want to know. Like, we all want to know what you've done him. You know what I'm saying? Since you love him. And uh, I want to see what, 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 what uh, things in his name have you uh, fought for. Because even the war uh, has been a problem with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep, you know... Uh, uh, repainting the wall every year like we said we was going to do. It was really my idea to do the ball, and uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I, 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 you know, we was all there, but I was the first one who did the first wall. It was my idea to tell TA, uh, TAT to um, actually paint that, and I paid for it, you know, through my budget to paint the first pun wall in Rogers Place, 163rd. Uh, so um, after that, it's like, um, I mean, the street, uh, the, the actual street uh, naming, like, the like for, for a street to be uh, named after pun was actually something that I would have expected you to take, you know, control of and made it happen way back. Remember, it's 20 years and this is when it's getting done. And that's because of the, 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 the you know, the pressure and the consistency of the people and Liza. And, you know what I'm saying? And what she have done. So uh, you knew uh, Ruben Diaz, right? The, the, the you know, the, the mayor of the Bronx or... You know what I'm saying? Um, the political side. You know, Ruben Diaz Jr., right? I mean, he's part of the government's branches. And he, he could have, I think he could have been on top of that. If he would have been on top of that, the way, like, y'all two are best friends, this war would have been, I mean, this name uh, thing would have been happened for, for Pun to get his street named after him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I was doing a lot of events together. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would figure... That you use your power and your love for Pun to make that happen real, like, quick after his passing, you know what I'm saying, in 2000. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. There's, like, things like that should have, I would expect you to have the power to be pulling strings to make happen for Pun, and you haven't, you never did it. You never did it. So I want to know what love. Did you make a foundation for him? A big Pun foundation where, we, you know, we, we, we uh, the, his fans could, um, you know, uh, represent him? Uh, did you... Um, I know well, we already know you didn't do nothing for the family because of, you know what I'm saying, your, 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 your relationship with, with Liza. So um, if you're talking about you love your brother, Pun, you're supposed to be twin. 
what have you done that showed your love towards him? Because, I, you know, I want to know. We all want to know. Since you keep saying you love him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to know. Um, so, yeah. And you don't have to be worrying about standing next to, to us or to me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to. And I, I wouldn't want that either. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't want that either right now. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I mean, stand next to the truth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to face the truth. And I, I understand that's why you don't want to do it. Or And, and you, you, you command and you you, 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 you teach your, you know, your peoples and your family not to stand next to us. Because, you know... Um, it's gonna feel different, you know, because when the truth is the truth, lies can't stand next to them. Usually, um, they don't feel at home in that house of lies that they spent 20 years, you know, building. That should have fucking, that should have fucking implode all them lies in one second. So I understand, I understand that. And, um, but you know, uh, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, why are you going to stop lying, man? <laughs> say the truth, man. And when is real people going to ask you real questions? You say you never lied about anything because nobody really asked you about nothing. Nobody asked you about situations where, you know, in Jimmy's between me and you, and you closed your eyes and you told a story like I did. And say the truth right there. Say the truth. Through your eyes. Because I'm, I'm kind of curious of what you would say, but what, you know, what the extent of your of your... Of your lies is gonna take you, but I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know when did you buy me? Show me some certificates where you bought me a house. Like you said, on Flex, like you gave me, you bought me a house. Now, me and you know that's a lie. But tell the people, man, since you don't lie, you never lie, you say you never lied in your, in your podcast. Um, you know, tell the people when you gave us $500,000 that you said. You said, 500, let me see some receipts, is what I'm saying, baby boy. 2021 let's see some receipts you know what i'm saying all that talking all that gas and all that you know making believe shit doesn't work do you understand you've been filmed and recorded 20 years later and all these youtube niggas could put that together niggas could see your answers niggas could see who asked you what niggas, see, niggas could read and see how you responded all these years so um we all want you to come home, baby. Come home. Come home. Come home to the truth. There's still a spot for you. Save the little integrity you might have left. And 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 and, and the little love that's left for you giving opportunity to some real niggas like myself. Like Pun. There's still a little bit left there, man. Cause you know you we don't wanna hate no more. I don't hate ever. Never did. All the anger shit that I ever said came out of the love part. When love gets hurt, that's how it reacts. But it's never been hate like that unless, you know, hate pushes that love to, to become hate. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Just, you know, say the truth, man. Say the truth, man. Uh, at least for pun, man. If you love that man that much, say the truth. Say the truth. You know what I'm saying? Not but love, man. Respect. And not but the best for all of you, all right? Keep the story right. Your boy Cuban.